Mass Extinction by Nicholas Munty is a upcoming megawad for Doom 2. So far it's very Doom 1-ish. I'm playing map 7. I've been on Ultraviolence. This is my SDA. Femenian is the name. I tried to play through this. It was broken enough that I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do until I looked at it in the editor. So I abandoned that uh, video, that playthrough. So the first, oh, half, two-thirds or so is going to be redo, and then after that it'll be pretty much a first demo attempt. Um, by the way, it's supposed to be vanilla compatible at the moment. That's not working. Not that I ever use vanilla compatible anyway. But uh, for now, it's basically got to be considered limit removing. Either way, I'm on Crispy Doom. So in my original FDA, I avoided this room for quite a while, even though that's where the shotgun is. down there. There's a switch over there. So yeah, you get this very randomish detailing, or not detailing, but geometry at least, in Monty's maps. That also can happen sometimes. Can't even figure out where you're getting shot from. switch activates a secret. I did figure that out in my FDA. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. But first I'm going to get the rocket launcher, which is almost a secret. Yeah, a little jump down there. Yeah. But no, that's not considered a secret. Alright, I gotta find... Where's that switch? I gotta find that again. It's actually quite a run for this secret. I think you probably have to strafe run definitely have to strafe run. You might even have to SR50 a little bit. Because it's, yeah, it's quite the run. There we go. And you get an early plasma gun. By the way, 95, 30, and 2. quite a gauntlet in here with all the shotgunners and chain gunners at different heights and stuff. Definitely would be a good map to have your free look on. bit of hint of later parts of the map and again I mean there's never never a right angle never hardly even anything aligned to the grid it's kind of interesting way of doing mapping it's 
So here's a red door. Turns out that's the last one you need. And here's yellow and blue back to back. So you basically gotta get yellow and blue. There's yellow and blue. Go in there, get red. And that's where I had the problems in the other playthrough. Ow. Alright. We're gonna resurrect there. Alright, let's just pretend I played a little bit better. Yeah, we'll, we'll just say I had 44. Alright. Deal? Good deal. Alright, um, so yeah, switch over here. Lift. Yeah, we get more of this kind of stuff, which is kind of cool. Jumping from area to area. That was kind of reckless. Oh, look at all those uh, rockets. Yeah, I mean, he does just a really good job of connecting the map with these windows and putting a monster that you're not expecting. Like, I've played enough of his maps, I, sh I should recognize his style and how he wants to kill me, but he still gets me every time, you know? <laughs> there we go. Alright, so I can go in here, but it doesn't go anywhere unless I have the blue key. And I'm not gonna waste four health in a map full of hit scanners. So I will go this way. I don't have any berserk or anything, do I? I'm kind of, yeah, whenever I play a map that has low ammo, I kind of stay in ammo conservation mode for the next map I play. So this map is fine on ammo, but the previous map that I played, unrelated to this wad entirely, was kind of an ammo shortage. So that's why I'm <laughs> doing some of the things I'm doing. Anybody else? Yes, lots of else. Yeah, like right up there. That's the kind of thing. Always a step ahead of me. Always a step ahead. That just seemed fun. Kind of overkill, but seemed like a good idea. Well, there we go. Perfect. I'm doing all right. All right. Now we gotta go get this blue key. <laughs> yeah, and there's. There's always parts of the map that you can see. I mean, the fact that this was even is even intended to be vanilla is kind of surprising. It's, yeah, it's not very detailed, but you can always kind of see so many parts of the map without without being in them yet. You know, you, you can see it all at once, but you play them later. So yes, this is the part where the map broke on me. Broke pretty badly, as a matter of fact. They did not come down. Luckily, I saved all my rockets and has plasma, but we'll use that later. Down come the demons. No idea where you are, demons, but I'm just gonna continue shooting my gun. I think they're all dead. Yeah, you're certainly given a lot of ammo to deal with the problems here. I mean, to still have 26 rockets, honestly, that might even be too many. I mean, I, I used plenty of rockets on these barons. Now, I didn't use any out here, but Still, to have 26 at this point, I don't know. We'll see what we'll see what comes later in the map. So yeah, basically, 
The demons didn't descend, or the demons did descend, but the barons didn't descend. And neither did all these chain gunners. Which includes this switch, so I was stuck because I couldn't hit this switch, which opens that door. But that error has been fixed. And now I'm maxed out on rockets. Alright, so now I've got my red key, and I don't have to go too far, it's right around the corner here. Here, wait for me. Thirteen enemies left, and I got fifty rockets, so I can use, you know, four rockets per remaining enemy, <laughs> plus fifteen more. I could. Doesn't mean I should. <laughs> but it's kind of fun. Alright, so yeah, this all is kind of FDA. I mean, I, I was looking at the map editor, so I kind of saw some, to some extent, what was coming. But yeah, ever since I went out of that barren room, there's stuff I hadn't done before. Well, they made short work of me. They don't exactly have closing speed, but gotta be quick. Mega armor. Yeah, this is really cool. Really cool. So, you can see this very early in the map. And you probably don't figure that that's what's going to happen. That's going to be a little bit of platforming across that, but that's what it ends up being. And man, I love when that kind of stuff happens in these maps. All right, I know I left health. There it is. Nine more monsters. <laughs> so now it's six rockets apiece. Which means they're all barons, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Exit? No. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm not sure what to have out. <laughs> I see how it goes. You gotta be efficient because they're gonna keep coming, aren't they? fun um okay yeah so that's why so many rockets but yeah given the amount of rockets and this is a decent size space um i would maybe up the count i would maybe do one or two more barons on ultra violence that was probably good for hurt me plenty but it could be just a little bit more um, less forgiving, I guess, I think. Not much, it was pretty close to a really perfect level of difficulty, I think, but just a little bit too much space, I think. Oh, 
Okay, end of episode. Death exit, I guess. Alright. So yeah, I mean, I like that. That's, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's it's really the same stuff as, as it's always been. Really good use of connecting the space, good use of these hit scanners. Um, a lot of, you know, the architecture, the geometry is, is not, it's not orthogonal. It's kind of random appearing, but it doesn't really look that way when you look at it. Kind of only when you study the auto map that you realize that. So that's, that's really good. Yeah, I thought this map was really good. It was, it didn't have a lot of cheap teleports at all. I don't think it really had any actually. Um, it just had moments where you kind of tip your hat and say, ah, yeah, well played, shotgunner up on that ledge there that I didn't look. Well played. So that's kind of how this map goes. Uh, this one, not as strong an identity as some of the others. You know, this you don't think of this and say, oh, that was the map where you... This was, you know, slightly more generic tech-based. That's okay. Not every map needs to have a strong, strong gimmick or or extreme identity, like, you know, not everything needs to be the chasm, or, or something like that. I mean, it was, it was still unique enough, still played very well, really solid progression, so, yeah, I mean, this is, yeah, this is gonna be a great wad. Um, I hope he takes time and develops something really good here, but, uh, next is episode two, which is, in fact, Shores of Hell-influenced maps, so I'm lo really looking forward to that as well. But this was map seven of the Mass Extinction.